Hey everybody, it's Mr. Shishmo, and I'm back again with uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and now we're on the last races of the Chow Races. This is the Dark Race, and now it's a little bit of just a, some chance to show off my personal Chow. I know it's um not your guys', since your guys can't compete in it because they're Hero Chow, but basically it's just the same kind of thing as um, the Hero Race, but it's just flipped. Um, some of the races are a little bit different than the Dark Races, other than just the mushrooms and things everywhere. That's just, I mean, different because they ch didn't do the dark, terrifying, creepy maps like they did with the last one. I mean, maybe they weren't so terrifying. I know. They were just some dead trees, and it was just pitch black, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my guy tripped a little bit too, so I'm not, I can't uh, complain about your guys' tripping anymore. Because bitches be tripping. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I started this. Uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, after this, I sh well, okay, there's going to be about, f I think, four more videos of just some pretty short chow things, depending on, uh, it could be three to four, depending on the speed, probably four. Um, and then we'll start the actual, like, uh, pseudo 100%ing, because I'm not getting the secret map, even though, because the secret map is just that much of a pain in the ass. I, I promise you, it's so much of a pain in the ass that... I'm not even going to try to get that pain in the ass. <laughs> now, I was actually surprised on that one because uh, I was not really paying attention too much about uh, how this was going. I was just kind of watching YouTube while I was doing it. Yeah, sure. I was watching YouTube while I recording a video for YouTube. That's not anything strange. Um, <laughs> so, um, I was actually kind of surprised at that, how many of them tr uh, got knocked out like I did. Or, well, Ultra. This one's name is Ultra, and because there's Lugia and Ultra that I'm working on at the same time, and they're right around the same rankings. Uh, Lugia is about six hours behind Ultra. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting, an interesting gap going on there. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I thought that was really funny. He just got it. Like, yeah, he's going. He just falls flat on his freaking face. <laughs> now. A few of these maps, like, one of the, the next map is vastly different from anything we've actually seen, uh, out of all of these races. It, I thought was, um, I thought that was pretty interesting, because it's like, wow, we haven't seen a map like that at all, and so, it's something, it's some it's, it's new, and new things are cool a lot of times. Alrighty. Yeah, you'll see what I mean, it's like, it changes, it does like two 90 degree turns, and it changes it's a lot shorter than all the other maps um hopefully uh when i get like all the chow stuff done i know it's kind of um a lot of filler stuff like i say in the past i know it's filler but i enjoy doing it i enjoy watching it i think it's kind of funny it's a fun thing because there's um it just gives a lot of replayability to this game um yeah, right here, this is where I was thinking, it's like, the straight... Okay, it's not short, uh, unlike the Dark Chow, it's just a lot different, because it changes its 90-degree turn, and there was supposed to be, like, water you fall in there, but he just jumped right over all of it, which I think was amazing. Um, yeah, this game has a lot of replayability to it, and that's why I, uh, go back to it and do all this kind of stuff, and it just gives me, um, some stuff to do, because, like I was saying, I was preparing for the rest of the stuff while I was working on it, it was considering I can kind of just do this brain dead. Like, with just brain dead nothing. Um, and here we go to the last one. And this is going to be um, not the same colors, but it's going to show off what Lugia is going to end up being. Um, it's going to be a little bit different colors, more of the uh, purple and blues and stuff. But, yeah, there's a, a Hero Chaos Chow. I don't own any myself. Uh, Lugia will be my first one. I don't have any normal ones, or neutral ones either, but that's just because they're a ho horrible pain in the ass thing to have, <laughs> or to get. But yeah, um, my first hero one is going to be Lugia, and so I'm thinking that I just, it's a good thing I get to show you guys, because that's what it's eventually going to be. Uh, I really like all the Chaos Chows, I think they all have solid designs, and I really like most of the Chow designs, except for... I really, really dislike the hero uh, power chow, which was what Lugia was just at. Lugia just reincarnated again, so I'm going to get their stat 
up one more, or get some more stats up. I gotta get a lot of stats up, but considering I work on the Chow stats, and then I do my recording, well, for at least Chow stuff. Uh, for all the other stuff, I'm gonna do that and then work on the Chows. It'll be a lot easier. And I usually do my Chow stuff, and then I do the voice, which is, you know, not the best thing to do, in any opinion, actually. Um, hmm. I know I'm gonna do kart races. There's some things I am gonna do with voice, and some things I'm not gonna do with voice. I don't know. It, you know, it'll come to it when it comes to it, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be Mr. Shishmo signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking through the filler. Bye bye, friends.